Hello guys and welcome to a new video of Dragon Ball Legends and we have a really big update well not really big but I'm referring to the version which is version 2.70 oh. so I'm excited to see what they're going to bring as far as we know like I said in the previous episode uh, Rising Rush or in this case Double Rising Rush has been improved in co-op I still don't know if they are going to add new rewards we'll have to see and Ultra Space Time 21 is probably out as well. So just let's take a look and see what new things we'll have in store. I'm actually pretty excited. Okay, Legend Spring. Oh, this time we can get like the pink petals. So you can't get the white petals anymore, I presume. But that's cool, okay. So this means also new stories. I wonder what stories we're gonna get. Okay, Ultra Space Time. Mm-hmm. Wow, a lot of tickets. I mean, that's normal usually. <laughs> Why am I surprised? Okay, now to the big things. Make the news pop up. Here we go. And like always, I have a special guest. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so Lisa is back at it again and we'll be discussing the new update. So let's go to one of the biggest things of this update, which is Ultra Space Time and the co-op. But let's first start with Luther Space Time. The first uh, trunks is, I think it's kind of cool. Although the color is a bit dubious, but I think maybe it's for hybrid. Because it's the abilities for hybrid and for the Vegeta, uh, Vegeta family. And what I really like about this unit mostly is his attack, Genji Future, which is really cool on the anime. Uh, and you can also teach it to Shallot. But that, that's kind of pretty much it. The, the other unit is uh, Cell, first form. Uh, you can also teach his Kamehameha to Shallot, <laughs> which is, well, for many it's not a great thing, for some it's, you know, it's a little niche thing to teach the text to Shallot. But uh, this Cell, uh, the gameplay is a bit like, uh, it heals itself a bit, uh, when the, the characters uh, come in against him, he does uh, stuff like restoring key, and uh, when uh, he stays in for some time, he gets some buffs and debuffs the the, the enemy. It's it's a bit like this. He's also green, uh, and it's um, is the abilities for androids, which is a bit weird because there is already green androids, and also for the the, the future. So future and androids. Uh, then there is also the EX cell, which is purple. Uh, there is nothing much special, it's just for future. Maybe buffs future is not anything special about him, I think. He, he debuffs uh, health restoration. Maybe against some, some teams. Uh, Zenkai Bull, for example, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But were you excited for this unit? Uh, I'm excited mostly for the uh, the first form cell. Well, the, ah, the yellow one, yeah, cool. sorry. Uh, and the first form cell uh, green because, uh, well, I, I thought it will be like regeneration, but well, it is regeneration, but not his the ability. So, rip Dragon Ball Legends <laughs> regens. Uh, but I understand, because people were complaining that there are too many regens in the game, blah blah blah. So, I, I think th this update will make many people happy. Uh, yeah, the, the only thing is that even if he doesn't boost regen, he can still put it in a regen team. So, I don't think it's going to stop Cell that much, if people really want to use him. But this seems to be very strong and very annoying, so we'll have to see what the PvP gang will be doing with this little Cell. I think these units are a bit uh, lackluster in uh, the game-changing department, you know what I mean? They are not breaking units, they are not meta-breaking, because right now we are too used to like uh, mega-hype units. Okay, there's this unit and it almost always breaks the meta and the, 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 uh, the tiers, they always change and everyone goes crazy and everyone starts calling them hype. Uh, Matters instead of real matters and yes, we're looking at you Vegito and Broly you annoying little <laughs> lovable Saiyans 
Okay, uh, let me add one, one thing. There is a, a new item in the rush shop, which is a, a, a Wakered equipment, which is for the this new trunks. It's for Vegeta family and melee type. And it's kind of cool equip. It's silver, but it's still good. It gives health uh, and key on, on the last one, so it's kind of good. It's not like the best best, but it's very good, I believe. So let's see the co-op now, which is a big thing because of the Zenkai. So they implemented, like I said in the previous episode of this discussion, Dragon Ball Legends, is that now you can do a multiple rising rush, so it's going to be something pretty interesting to see. Also, I really like the two rising rush uh, thing at the same time, because we play together so it's easy to think because we use voice. But the problem is, for people that are... Um, playing casually on the, the search function. I don't know if that is going to be, because people will just use it and the other one might not have it and they don't know, so it will be very rare. Unless they save it till the other person uses, but then the other person won't, will do the same and then both people are saving it and never use it. Uh, I, I don't know, it's cool for people that play co-op in voice more seriously, but for casuals, it's going to be a bit... eh, I don't know, maybe. I can disagree because a lot of people are complaining that sometimes, since they don't communicate, they would use Rising Rush at the same time and one of them would be losing the Rising Rush. So either way, I think even if you don't are communicating with other person, I think this is the best option to add because at least if by any chance you do at the same time, at least you're going to do a powerful Rising Rush instead of just losing one Rising Rush. So either way, I think this is the best way they could have implemented this. Oh, I didn't thought about that. Yeah, th that's really cool and well thought. Wow, yeah. You actually remove a very bad thing from not having voice, actually. So, well, yeah, that's actually great. And I think also when they do it, it kind of warns you that he's going to do it. So you can kind of synchronize that even if you're not communicating, but we will have to see. Uh, but going more in detail about uh, the co-op, now you'll also be receiving tickets for the Zenkai where you can upgrade his um, Zenkai power, I think that's what it's called. So it's also pretty dope. So the co-op enemy is going to be, of course, Demon King Piccolo. And in the beginner mode is going to be blue, so green is the best way to use it. And the boost goes for Lazarus Road, Dragon Ball Saga, and Sun Family. And the rewards are also pretty okay. You get a new equip as well, which is called the Biggest Crisis, Base Critical, Base Strike Attack or Base Blast Defense, and Base Strike Attack or Base Blast Defense for Lazarus Road Yellow. So it works for Goku and also for Lazarus Road Piccolo, which is also yellow. And also on the rewards, you will be getting yellow and red Zenkai adventures. Yeah, I, I think that the, they improved the rewards, which is cool. Uh, I think the equip may be useful. But, uh, um, well, maybe I'm a bit hyped because I like regen, so uh, I want to use the, that equip for the, the yellow Piccolo. So then we go to the intermediate. Piccolo is green, so use purples. It boosts again Legends Road, Dragon Ball Saga and some family. And this time, the Zenkais are yellow, purple and green. Then we have, which we are actually going to form more, and you're gonna see why. The Demon King is purple, so of course we're gonna be using yellow, and most likely be using Kid Goku for sure. But the fun thing about the tech bonus character is that it also has future now, instead of being just Legends Road, Dragon Ball Saga and Sun Family. And what I was saying about reforming it is because you get blue Zenkai adventures, as well as yellow and purple. But you know I'm here just for the blue ones. <laughs> so, so the main things are out of the way. Now we have also a very interesting thing that a lot of people apparently really wanted, which I do understand, which is Super Scout Battle. So basically this is the part one of these things, which you can choose between the farming God Key, Freezer Force, and Saiyan. With God Ki you get Wiz, Beerus and Zamasu. Fizzle Force you get uh, Shishami, Dodoria and Zarbon. And in the Saiyan you have Tora, Fasha and Daddy Bardock. <laughs> <laughs> also, you can only farm these three times a day. 
So basically, if you want to farm just God Key, you can do it, but only three times. Or if you want to farm one of each, you can also, well, do it one time only because one God Key, one Freezer Force and one Sane wastes three energies. Yeah, I recommend just doing one type, so you get uh, 15 Z power for each character that of that type. Because you get 5 uh, Z power per battle for each unit. Oh, what are the stories? What are the stories? Stories? Uh, uh, again? Oh my, what was the last time they appear? Like, oh my god. Okay, whatever. So these were like the main things and also there are like little new updates that are kind of interesting to talk about so i'm gonna go and talk about it which is there was a little ui change user interface change where you get now uh, when you're doing i think uh, events you get the mission thing so it's easier for you to go click and get the rewards from the missions which is very handy actually you don't have to be like jumping from tab to tab they upgraded the auto mode AI because when we usually do, you know, we are lazy, but we don't want to play, so the AI plays for us. They were also very dumb. They were extremely dumb, but now they made them smarter, so it's really, really cool. Oh, that's great. I didn't know that. Yeah, the AI now is more aggressive. They also make full use of Dragon Balls and art cars that have extra abilities. Yeah, because. This happened to me in so many battles that I put really strong units, but for some reason, somehow, they end up dying. And I'm like, how can you die with those strong units against those wimpy yeah. ones? What the heck? So hopefully that's not going to happen now. <laughs> and the thing that I'm scared about is this thing in specific. Equipment rank Z plus added. This may be added to equipment with the most powerful abilities. What? In this update, we're adjusting the pre-existing upgrading system instead of expanding it. Equipment effects will not change. Oh, they implemented it already. Okay, uh, I'm probably not showing, but I have a lot of things with pink pebbles. Yeah, it's, it's just visual, right? Yeah. Yeah, but also lets you know like which slot is a really good slot. Oh, my Kelken has like two pink pebbles. That's amazing. Do you have actually any Z plus thing? I don't have any Z. Rank? Oh, <laughs> I will try to upgrade. Like I'm saying, I don't have any Z. Because I have one Z that's two, two of these pink ones or red. And the last one is green. So maybe I can upgrade it further till I have actually a super Z plus or whatever. And before we also finish, I want to address the uh, Super Space Time Duel. I know we personally, both of us, we don't do it, but there is a new equip, which is Goodbye Dad. It gives base blast attack, base strike defense and base blast defense, and base strike attack for future. So I think this is all. I'm just going to show a little bit of the missions that you can get. Yeah, they are new petals. But that's about it. This update was not, in my opinion, not really what I was expecting. I mean, we got um, the new units we were already expecting, which is Trunks and Cell. But I feel that in, the term in terms of events and story-wise, it's very lacking. Because again, during the story, a lot of people, or at least most people already made these stories and probably already from the equips and when you go to recommended you only have Legends Road and Ultra Space Time Rush so if you don't really care for Zenkai Goku and you don't really want to have them it's going to be a rather boring time play, playing the game because there's not much you can do so do you have anything more to add? Uh, no I think okay so this is all for today's video again I'm personally personally not really happy or excited with this update. I don't know about you guys. If you guys are excited or not, leave a comment down below. And if there's anything we missed, also feel free to let us know. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. When you subscribe, don't forget to ring the bell to stay notified of future videos. Because if you don't click the bell, why even subscribe, honestly? And also, if you want to talk to us, don't forget to join our Discord. And if you made to the end of the video, I have a little special thing for you guys, which is basically me 
opening Legends Rising tickets. And you guys are going to be surprised to see what I actually get. Captain. <laughs> I mean, it's not wrong. It's not that wrong, but well, just you'll see. And I hope to see you guys on my next video. Stay tuned, my friends. Bye. Oh boy, on my way to get shafted again. Not like I wasted 10 tickets and got all heroes. Thanks, game. Oh, there you go. Okay, I mean, a lot of pods. I mean, maybe extreme, I presume. At least it's better than heroes that I've been receiving, that's for sure. Okay. Oh! 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 A SP? A SP, is that you? Broly, is that you? <coughs> Not you, Gogeta! I want what's on your background! Gogeta! Oh, but I actually got Gogeta! Like, I like you, Gogeta, but like, your background is what is enticing me. I mean, uh, thank you for coming. I mean, uh, wow, but one SP and actually these tickets? I'm surprised. Uh, it's not really low, but it's still fantastic. My first SP from this! Okay, really good! Let's see the next one. What the heck is. Where are we? In space? What the heck? What? What is this? What? Is this new? Ooh, what? Bardock? <gasps> it's gonna be a new unit? Oh, Broly? Broly, is that you? Oh, he's gonna be, he's gonna be blessed. Am I gonna get blessed? Come on. Oh, Broly? Broly? I mean, he's a new unit, so... Is he? <laughs> Why are you mad? Uh, uh, well, I mean... Uh, hello, Vegito. I did not have you before, so... Hello, thank you for... Okay, I mean... Got a Vegito. That's fantastic, actually. That's really good. Okay, now I have the SP units from this banner. That's pretty dope. Okay. Look at this boy going to my fusion team with that Gogeta. Actually, these were like the two calls that I was missing, so it's fantastic. So it's really good. I'm really happy, actually. I'm criticizing, but I'm pretty happy. Okay, what's next? Okay, extreme guarantee, that's for sure. Now it's going to become SP, or is it going to be... Another Bardock? Are you serious? Another Bardock? Okay, okay. So it's Vegito or Rolly? Come on, be, be Rolly. No, no, don't be Vegito, be Rolly. I mean, come on, he's almost like six stars. Come on. Uh, come on. Well, now I have Vegito at three stars. I mean, it's good. It's great. It's not Rolly, but it's great. And three in a row. Wait, wait, wait. Three in a wait. Three SPs in a row, actually. Oh my god! That wow, I was actually pretty lucky. What the heck? Wow, what? three SPs in a row. Are you serious? And two Bardocks in a row. Not just two SPs, two Bardocks. And one of them was on space. Whoa, that's dope. Now I'm gonna receive like two heroes probably. But hey, two SPs. In those five tickets? I mean, not two, three. Three SPs in those five tickets. Wow. That was some crazy thing. Come on, give me Broly. It's the last ticket. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't make me wait those Z power thingies. Oh no, I'm gonna waste those Z power thingies on Broly. <laughs> oh well. Damn, boy, but like. Damn! Three SPs in a row. Hey! Hello!